As part of the Women in League celebrations, it was almost an unrecognisable Parramatta outfit, but there was a familiar face. After a two-year ban, Rennie Matua ran out for the first time for the Eels. It was Etu Wasali having an early impact. And oh, Reed. He didn't find a hole. He almost was placed in one by Wasili. But there were good signs for rugby league's prodigal son. It was Matua who sliced through. He gave the ball to Shackleton. It was a good ball. For nearly 27 minutes, it was a torrid but scoreless contest, but the Broncos eventually broke through out wide. McCullough to the corner to Gay Guy. He's got it down. It's a try for Brisbane. Matua was certainly making his presence felt with some dazzling footwork. Matua might score on comeback. But the replay confirmed the ball had come loose. You can't call that a rake. No, he's spinning around to try and get it into position to place over the line. And that was it for the scoring opportunities. The Broncos, the only team with points on the board at half time. The second half was short lived for Jacob Loco. The Eels centre ferried off after awkwardly twisting in a tackle. His cruciate ligament in his left knee may have gone. That could be the season for him. And just as Parramatta looked certain to crack the Brisbane wall, Gay Guy pounced on a wayward pass and set off on a 95 metre dash. Gay Guy sprinting away over halfway. He's over 30. They won't get him. Dane Gay Guy gets his second try. While the Eels were missing the strike power of origin bound Jared Hayne, his replacement in the number one jersey put his side on the board. An offload for Keating. Adami and again with Luke over. The veteran point scoring machine benefiting from the eel sharp offloads. It may have been a youthful Broncos side, but age did not weary the seasoned Parramatta campaigners. An outside in move setting Chris Walker free. Walker, Walker's to the 20, support from Bird. He skips out of a tackle and gets a double. What a champion player he is. There he is. Luke. But with time running out, Matt Gillette wrong-footed Casey Maguire and had speed to burn. He's fended. He's on his way. He'll score the big number 13. Matt Gillette has scored for Brisbane. With just on five and a half minutes to go. The Broncos didn't need the conversion in the end, holding out the home side to secure a four-point victory. It's a very young team and um, you know, missing all, all the great players we've got in this team. It's, um, you know, it's a great effort from the boys and you know, a really consistent one. Melinda Farrell, Big Pond Sport.